Hen and Greeley and Jai Workers Psychologist and Jai run the support services as well. And uh, we opened in May 2009 and we run support services for uh, people with cancer and their families. Uh, we try and offer as wide a range of services as we can. Our main focus is on providing a warm, homely environment in a kind of a domestic setting and also provide a confidential and professional service. We opened the door and the first girl inside the door smiled and it's just lovely. I love art and pictures and the first thing I saw was the beautiful picture they have opposite the door. And then Helen was there and it's just a lovely place. And it kind of, I've thought about it since. There's an awful lot of thought has been actually even put into the physical surroundings, the pictures, the furniture, and it kind of validates you as a person and your emotions. You walk in the door and you're, there's somebody there to welcome you. And then you go into this place that's kind of... It's, it's, I can't, it's tranquil and peaceful and beautiful to go into. I, I can't put the words, it's kind of... I just go, kind of you take this breath and you feel, oh, this is just so... Um, nice to come into and so welcoming and it kind of surrounds you. While you're in Inishivan, people walk up to the up to the cancer care centre and they'll do the different therapies and they'll um, try out the exercise class, I've met them at them, and they um, try the nutrition class and they try different things over the period of time that they're doing the radiotherapy. They do all of those things. Well, the first one was the stress and relaxation. That's just kind of a four-week course to learn, for you to learn, I suppose, how to deal with your emotions and your... It just helps you to deal with your anger, to channel it in ways that you can, to understand what's causing you stress. And they taught you to relaxed you know we laid and we learned to breathe and but then the mindfulness goes into far more depth gradually because you try each thing out like with the mindfulness meditation with david um some of them weren't sure about that and i say well i did it and this is how i what i how it helped me i found that it calmed me down where my mind was racing um and they tried that out and a load of them have tried the nutrition class, they all love that. It's great. Now guys, can I show you this? So you can see how the colour is going into a lovely tangine type effect. It's really, 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 really good. Essentially we offer, I suppose, three primary things. Individual support in terms of psychology, uh, oncology, nursing information and massage, reflexology, benefits advice. We, then we offer as well kind of classes like art and writing and uh, nutrition courses and I know you've been at the nutrition course you saw the kind of food they make there and how, how nice it is to eat it and I suppose the great thing is that after people make that food they sit around the kitchen table and eat it so it's very warm and it, that's support in its own way because even though we don't call it a support group people actually do support each other to talk about what helped them and what didn't help them and so it's, it's really kind of doing all the things we want to without even calling it a support group. <laughs> the unique thing about our service is that we offer both psycho-oncology and support services. Psycho-oncology is the psychological treatment of people who are suffering distress from cancer, either the patient or the family member. And uh, we offer both services in the one in the one location, which is a very unique thing because most of these psycho-oncology services are only available in hospitals. I haven't done the art now, but that's the creative writing and the, the art classes are on at the same time and um, they're teasing me now because they say, I say I'm not really artistic because I have a sister an artist and I said I have uh, no wish <laughs> to go painting I let her do that. We also run art and writing classes, um, a yoga class, um, 
uh, relaxation class twice a week and again it's all an opportunity for people to get together and to really talk about what the experience of cancer means for them and to process it in different ways to, to kind of make sense of it. We do aim to make sure that nobody who's in our catchment area has to carry their cancer alone. That's our big thing, uh, to get away from that sense of isolation and the sense of loneliness that cancer sometimes brings with it. At the time when mom was diagnosed and had her treatment in Dublin, we didn't actually realise because we have family in Dublin, we had a place to stay. My mom had a support mechanism when she went up for her treatment. So for us, we didn't realize that there was such a huge gap in it. Um, and it was after mom had passed away and that the treatment facility then came to the West that we realized how great it was. People travel from, from Donegal and from the far reaches of Mayo for treatment. And to have to then get back in a car and travel for three or four hours is, is awful, or to have to go into a B&B that you're completely isolated in. We lost our mother Agatha to cancer and because of that we decided to fundraise to work hard for a centre that now exists to help people that were in our position when we lost our mum. Cancer Care West do fantastic work. Cancer is a terrible thing, it affects every family in so many hard ways. So really it was our pleasure to help Cancer Care West. It was hard to do the coffee morning, but if I could do a little bit, and they said even though it was very little money, they were delighted with it. Because every little bit is a little bit more that they have to help other people. Because I want to see you continue on. So that more people can get what I had. As I said, I go around with the timetable and the um, information about it in my bag. So if I meet someone who hasn't heard about it, I'm going, look, here. I know people have to say to us, you know, I find it very hard to go up the stairs the first time and come into the centre, but as soon as they come in and they see it's a very domestic setting, a very friendly, warm place, um, with always a kettle on the boil, uh, always someone to chat to, that people really do uh, benefit from that. It's that level of closeness that you have with the people in Cancer Care West, be they the nurses or the psychologists or the volunteers that, you know, it's just, I think it's just that it's somewhere that you can just go and be you. And I know I, I, I had a fairly good experience. Well, I think it was the place that made it, helped to make it that experience, you know. It was, um, like when I got there, geez, there was four or five nurses and they were as nice. You couldn't, couldn't meet nicer people. And they showed you to your room and says, that's your room for the next six weeks. You could leave anything in it. When I was in, in a shaving, particularly, um, I, I realised a lot about myself that I never really gave myself credit for the person that I was and am particularly now. <laughs> I would try and, um, like, you know, t slow down a little bit uh, and just be more mindful of the here and now than thinking I have to do what I have to do, which I probably would have done. I definitely, I, I, I do know I have more time and patience for those around me. <laughs> Actually having the support centre has made cancer easier and that is because I have had both experiences I've had the experience where there really wasn't the long-term support and now I have it where there is the long-term support that if you need somewhere to go there's somewhere to go and it's just I, I don't know I, 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 I sort of I'm afraid to say that I hope that I keep going um, but it has kept me going. But it, um, whatever the future comes, kind of, haven't I? Cancer Care West is my second family to kind of, if, if, if everything doesn't go according to plan, I can always get in the car and thanks be to God I can still drive and I can, you know, go there and you, if you don't want to say anything, you don't have to say anything and if you want to offload, you can do that too as well. It has made my recovery really good this time. And perhaps if I still kept the proper diet, I'm afraid I like sugary things too much, which doesn't help, but <laughs> even at that, I'm still doing okay.